And hello guys, this is uh, Zero Delay USB Encoder on the Pandora Games 3D! Kind of review, I guess. So this is what we got from Ying Lucky. You can get them from a few places on AliExpress, but this is the one we have. Let's see what we get in here. So we have a few cables. And a board. Okay, so what a USB encoder does is basically convert any button press into a USB signal. So you can convert anything into a USB controller. Okay, so over here we've got up, down, left, right for joystick input for buttons. Or we could use this little thing in the middle. On the corner we have a space for the USB cable to go in. And at the very bottom we have the buttons from 1 to 12. Okay, so there's a few type of arcade buttons. Here are two of mine. I've got a Sanwa and a Cheapy. Okay, so at the back you see the Sanwa has a very, very small connection here. And it sounds like this. This uh, Cheapy on the left, I think this is the uh, traditional design. At the bottom it's got like a micro switch. And they've got slightly larger connections at the bottom. It's mainly 2.8 millimeters and 4.8 millimeters. See at the bottom here? Boop. So make sure you order the right cables for it. See the small ones here? They fit in the Sanwa. Like so. Pom pom. Okay, once they're in there, you can pop this little end here into your encoder thingy. See at the bottom row, you've got buttons from 1 to 12. Can be any anything you want, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hi. Okay, so uh, this cable here is for the Sanwa, or Sanwa clone. You can pop this in like so. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. This one goes into here. With my clone, it's the little uh, doohickeys at the top. This should be pointing up. If it's the wrong way around, all it'll mean is you cannot use every direction, so I just flip it over. Alright, this is for the USB cable. I got a 1.5 meter cable with it, so it's pretty generous. This will be going in the bottom port of the Pandora Games 3D. Okay, this is my mess. I'm just testing. See if it works alright. Once we popped it in, it'll say Gamepad Connected, which is a good sign. Check out the settings, gamepad settings, and I set it to player one. Just found this encoder is uh, Dragon Rise Inc. Okay. Can just try it with Street Fighter Alpha. So I've actually popped in the buttons the same as the Pandora games. So it's uh, red, yellow, blue, white, green, black. The buttons as wired up, they do work really well actually. But they're in the wrong order. Not a problem, we can just change the wires over. Yep. Controller works fine. Success. One more thing I actually found out was uh, we can actually use way more than only the six buttons on the controller. We've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six. Select, then start are in plugs 9 and 10. We also have two more, which are in 7 and 8, which we can actually assign to PSPP. And uh, we have another two, which are in plugs 11 and 12. These unfortunately do the same thing, but whatever, we can use them. So anyway, here's a bit of footage. I'm using the USB encoder with the Samwa clone, Baolong. I'm actually using the Samwa button here, hooked up to button 12, so it works. Yeah. Okay, so one more thing I'm usually concerned with is uh, how many amps the controllers use. This one uses zero, which is great. If you've got many things hooked up to a USB hub, this isn't going to mess anything up. If you don't have a hub for your Pandora Games 3D, you should really get one. They're extremely useful, as we only have one USB to use for our controllers, keyboards, mice, 
and uh, external storage. If you want the same item I have, check the affiliate links in the description. You won't be paying any more and it helped the channel tremendously. So I'm going to call it a day now. Any questions, pop them down in the comments. Bye!